The Mid-South heat becoming unbearable if you have to spend time outside. And with temperatures expected to hit triple digits, some schools are taking precautions. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Schools say they are putting student safety first. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us live now. And Ashley, how's it feeling out there right now? Steph, I would say it's mildly cooler than it was when we were out here earlier today, which is why some schools are trying to limit daytime activities when temperatures are at the hottest. It's 7 o'clock under the Friday night lights in August, which means the sun is still out. And with a heat index of over 104 degrees expected, decisions have to be made. We're the adults and we have to make the best decision that's best for the safety and security of our students. And their health is one, one of those things. Superintendent of Millington Municipal Schools, Bo Griffin, says after careful consideration, they made the decision to push back Friday night's game against Munford by one hour after the sun goes down. Collierville Schools also announced they will do the same. It's real easy to know when it's, and when it's ice outside, when it's snow and it's slick outside. Uh, a lot of people try to push through the heat right now. And it's a very da dangerous temperature. Like I said, you know, anytime a heat index gets above 104, that's that's a red flag and that's automatic shutdown for us. Other schools are feeling the heat to make some decisions also. This afternoon, Fayette County Schools made the decision to close school early on Thursday and Friday. They say some students have long bus rides home. And with the heat index expected to hit 110 degrees in some parts of the county, the district is concerned about their safety. They remind people to use caution when going outside. And Superintendent Griffin says keeping students hydrated is a must. We have water bottle filling stations in all our schools and we really, hey, you've got to get the hydration, a lot of water during the day. Also, you're reminded to try and stay inside, not spend long periods of time outside during this excessive heat warning. Many schools are also holding practices early before school starts or moving them inside until the cooler temperatures set in. For now, reporting live, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.